Another thing we can do with the map operator to transform this data is that we can add attributes that don't even exist on the data itself whenever it comes to us. So let's say that we want to add some more attribute to this. Let's say we want to add some admin information. So we want to check to see if the user is admin or not. So that I'm just going to, you know, do some random example here. So let's say we want to add a new attribute to see if the user is admin. So we can do something like this. We can put a comma and then we can say is admin. OK, and you can set this to either true or false or whatever the case might be. But let's say you want to uh, maybe like check for the ID or something. So you can say uh, like user ID uh, equals 10, something like that. And then if that's the case, then we're going to say uh, uh, let's say true, right? We're going to say true. Otherwise, we're going to say false. Oops. We're going to say false. OK, so that's technically valid. And even though we don't have this is admin on the user, TypeScript is not complaining because at least we have all the properties that exist on that user. We're just adding some more. So now, um, well, we have to actually display this now. So if we go to the here and let's just copy the email and then paste it down and let's say uh, role for instance, right? And then after this, uh, the email, we can copy this and say user is admin. So now, even though we didn't have this property coming to us from the back end, we still manipulate the data somehow and then we add this new property and then we use some logic to set it. Obviously, this is like a dummy example, but you can think of whatever you uh, you want and then set this to true or false. So now if we go, you can see false, 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 false. But then the last user ID is 10 and then this is true. And you can set this to a string as well. Like you can do something like if that's the case, then set the uh, admin otherwise uh, some you know uh, user or something and that would work as well now another example i want to show you is what if you don't want all those properties so as you can see on that list you see that uh, if we inspect this uh, let's go to the console and you see we have company and then we have address right so let's say we didn't care about the company and we didn't care about the address we just want the you know email id and all the other stuff. We don't want the company and we don't want the, the, the address. I'm just taking those at random. It's not because they're object. But let's say for some reason you didn't want to map the address and the company into your, you know, your data because you know what you're getting, but you don't want everything. So let's see. So what we can do is first of all, we can go inside of the user class. We can just remove those altogether or we make them optional so that TypeScript doesn't yell at us when it doesn't see the company in the, the address. Okay, so we say, hey, this is optional on that specific shape. Okay, so whoever is going to define some piece of data by that shape or by this interface, the fact that they need to add an address and a company is optional. They can leave it out and I'm not going to yell at them or give them an error or anything like that. So that's step one. You make those optional. So then this will require us to map everything inside of that object. So we can set the name like this and then set is admin and we can continue and then add all the other information that we want. So for instance, let's say we want the email. So we're going to say email equals user dot email. Let's say we want the website. Let's say website and then we say user dot website. And it's complaining because we still have to add some more of our properties. So let's see what we need to add here. So username, yeah, phone. So let's add the phone. So let's say phone and they have to be the they have the same name. So the key has to be the same. And I think we need to add the username. Did we add that? Nope. So username and then user that username. And we need to put this here. So now you can see that we reshape this data that we're getting and we're getting rid of the company and the address. So now if we go back, you can see if we look at this, now we have a cleaner object. You see, there's no company, there's no address or anything like that. We reshape the data to something completely different. And we can do the same for all the other functions. So let's say this get user here, we want to maybe like map this user to something else. We can just use the map again and then just go straight into this. So we can skip this part because we don't have to do it for every single item inside of that array. So it's going to literally be the same thing. Um, there's another example I want to show you, like a really cool example. So we're going to look at that next.